Is there anything happening with Bitcoin as it sort of matures or doesn't as a, a cryptocurrency that is going to smooth out some of these effects? You know, as we have more institutional investors mm -hmm. buying yeah. into it, as the technology develops. It seems plausible that as more institutional money enters into it, that, uh, you know, some of the swings could be smoothed out. I mean, look, you know, back in the old days, we it ran from like you know 10 to 1200 in the span of a year and then dropped to 100 right. so arguably it's quieted down a little bit um i guess by the laws of size you would imagine that just bigger things inherently become less volatile i mean if you look at equities small caps are going to be more volatile than large caps it sort of naturally works out that way but i think it is important to remember it's all such a new uh, space. There's probably nothing technologically that could happen. Maybe if something happened on the futures front or mm -hmm. some hedging activity. Bitcoin ETF. But maybe. It just seems like there's nothing imminent that would suggest it's going to get any less volatile or stable. It doesn't seem like it's in this nature. Our guest just earlier had called it a black market, uh, black market yeah. gold. Um, right. But our macro strategist at Bloomberg, Mark Cudmore, saying that Bitcoin will be fine as long as there are new believers every day. If there are new believers that outweigh those who don't like Bitcoin, yeah. it's still going to gain ground. Well, I mean, I think that's exactly right in the sense that, like, there's a lot of uh, proselytization within the space. People are trying to bring in new uh, believers. It's very religion-like that way in terms of how it spreads and the people who are really into it never stop talking about it and they talk about their profit. Satoshi in his holy <laughs> document, the white paper, and the people who initially saw it. And then, you know, it's just like, um, you know, there's schisms. So a lot of hallmarks of a religion in this. Mm. And so this idea that a big part of the model is, as you say, or as Mark puts it, bringing in new believers is a very uh, good characterization for what's going on.